All right, so now we have to look at our first component and understand it, the LED, okay? Now, when you first get into microcontrollers, this is your best friend, absolute best friend. Um, your best friend likes a lot of energy, um, but your best friend might also need something like this, a resistor. Okay, we'll get into resistors here in a little bit as far as the understanding of to save this little guy's life, you might want a resistor to limit the amount of power that goes to it. But first, the LED. Now, there are two wires that lead in and out of the LED. Um, one is going to a cathode and the other is an anode. Remember the phrase, Kathy is negative. Okay, Kathy is negative. So if somebody says, well, hook up the cathode variation for, or side of the LED, you say, oh, that's negative, because Kathy is negative. You can also look at these. The shortest wire is, in fact, negative. So that is the Kathy side of the street. And this is the anode side of the street. Or you can understand that Thing, short people are negative. Oh, 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 it's just putting it out there. Right? Uh, there's another little area that you could tell. There's a flat spot. Let's say somebody clipped your LED so these are both the same size. That's mean, right? Well, you can find the cathode and anode side of things by looking for the flat spot on the LED. It's on the side. And the flat spot is negative. The last one you could tell is there's two components or two little sides of the street. Inside the LED, there's a big side and a small side. The small side is always uh, the positive side. Okay? Small side is positive. Now, those little laws right there, they help out. Let's say you were presented with this. So this has four prongs, and the Kathy thing doesn't work out. So as far as like cathode is negative, yes, cathode is negative. But look at the wires. There's one longer one. Is that one positive? No, that one is negative. How do I know? Well, remember my rules. Like there are little components in the inside of here. Okay, look for the smallest ones, and those are positive. Look for the largest ones, and those are negative. So look inside this little globe. Because the other ones don't match up. Let's say I find the flat spot here. Does the flat spot mean anything? Nope, doesn't mean squat, because really the flat spot doesn't represent quite well for negative. You're going to have to look at the cathode and anode of it, inside the little globe. Big is negative. Small is positive. Cool. So this is your first component and hopefully that's just a little bit of understanding upon you know how to find positive and negative on it. And let's get on to making this thing blink. Alright? In the next video.